Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you four preferences in FreeCAD that I wish I knew when I very first started using the software. If you like what you're seeing please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire and that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content and that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. When modeling in FreeCAD, if you're finding when rolling over the individual faces that this flashing is starting to get on your nerves, starting to give you a headache, then we can actually turn it off or change its color. Now, one thing to remember is this flashing will be a different intensity depending on how the lighting falls on the object, as you can see here. So if we do change its color, we have to take that into mind. If we go up to Edit, Preferences, come down to display and over to colors, we've got this enable pre-selecting highlighting. If I uncheck this and hit apply and then okay, rolling over this model will not highlight any of those faces. I would have to actually click on them and we get the normal selection color that comes up, which also can be changed. If we want to change that for a color, let's go back to the preferences look at the display and the colors, re-enable pre-selection highlighting and click on the color. Then we have the colors here that we can select from. Word of warning is that we're gonna see it again from that viewpoint. So for instance, if I pit something like a blue, hit okay and apply, okay that then it still looks like it's a yellow flash but when we put it on the side you can see that it actually is a blue color there because of the lighting I tend to change it to something a bit darker so if I look at the colors I normally go for a red that way when I apply that we get a nice hue of red which is not too intense as you can see and when we come to the side it still looks absolutely fine and it's not too bad on the eyes another tip is around the resolution of the model so we've got this model at the moment this is actually quite a low resolution if we zoom in we can see that these edges and though this is a circle it is quite jagged this can cause a bit of issue when you're creating solid models and you're trying to match up surfaces to make sure they connect properly. To resolve that, we have something called the deviation. If we look down on the view tab, we come down to deviation here. If I zoom in and we're looking at this extrude, you can see we've got these edges here. Click on the extrude, come down to the deviation, and set this to 0.1, you see how those are smoothed out already. So just with a setting of 0.1 on the deviation, they will become much more smoother. Let's set this back to 0.5 and click off. See nothing has changed, but if we come into the sketch and close that sketch, we get the refresh taking place on the screen. Let's try exporting that. So let's come into this extrude and come onto file and export. And this will be the standard way you'll export to something like an STL file. So we've got the file type of STL there. And I'm just going to name this 0.5. And now we're going to do the same with the extrude and set this to 0.01. So deviation there. We'll export the same extrude, file, export, to the same file type, and point 0.1. Let's go to file import and see what we got. Notice the size. So we've increased the amount of information in the export. Therefore, we're going to get a better output for 3D printing or using this in a 3D package such as Blender. Now, the thing is to remember that the 3D printer has a limit to the amount of information that it needs to create the model. It only can go down to the resolution that your 3D printer is capable of. 
so we can go too far with this process of exporting this out. So it's a balancing act. I tend to find if I came in to here, the extrude, and set this to 0.1, this gives me enough. Now this setting can be set permanently in FreeCAD because if I create another shape now, so I create this cube here, let's hide that extrude and come into the cube, you'll notice that the deviation for the cube is 0.5, which is the default deviation. And we get a pop-up here telling us what exactly it is. To change that permanently, we come up to Edit, Preferences, and it's in a very strange place. It's in the Part Design and the Shape View. And we can set the maximum deviation here, which is set to 0.5. If we set this to 0.1, Apply, and OK, the next cube we create, let's hide the other one, will be set to 0.1 deviation. This also affects sketches as well. So if I look at this sketch here, let's hide that cube, press the spacebar, and bring back this sketch, press the spacebar here, and center our view around that sketch. If I zoom in and look at the deviation of this sketch, it's at 0.1. If I set this to 0.5, and we'll just refresh by coming into the sketch and closing that, we can see the jagged lines around there. Let's set this back to 0.1, and you see how that's smoothed out. Remember, the better the quality of the view, the more pressure you're putting on your CPU. So if you're running on an old system like I am, we need to balance that out, also balance it out between the output of your 3D printer or the desired output that you want when you're creating 3D models. Whilst modeling, I normally use the axis cross and also the navigation system in the bottom right hand corner here. Now both of these can be changed. If we go up to view and toggle axis cross, we can see it's in the center there but that can be enabled by default. Also, we can change the navigation here to be a lot larger. At the moment, it's quite small, especially if you've got a larger screen. To do that, we come up to the Edit Preferences, and from there, we come into the Display, and we've got this 3D view, and the first item is Show the Coordinate System in the corner, which is this one here, and we can increase the size of this to whatever we want and apply that. This will get larger. If we look over to the left here, underneath it, we've got this show axis cross by default and apply that. And that'll be applied straight away when we open FreeCAD or open a new document. And that axis cross will be there all the time. So thanks a lot for your time watching this video. I hope those have helped you. The video was originally requested by a viewer. If you've got any requests, please let me know. I do have a backlog sign so trying to get through them. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you again soon.